Welcome back. Now, regardless of whether you use a platform for paid newsletters or you use a WordPress website or some other kind of platform, you are going to want to collect names and email addresses into a database that allows you to keep in contact with those who want to hear from you most. And you can choose an email service provider like MailChimp in order to do it. Now, MailChimp is not the only company that does this. We are only using MailChimp as an example of the kind of service that you are going to want to have. We are going to log into an existing MailChimp account. Now, when you have an email service provider, you're going to need to name one particular kind of database in order to collect the names and email addresses and to send emails. Once you have created an individual list within your email service provider, what you'll need to do is to find the area where you can create a form where when you make that form available, people can place their name and email address in in order to become part of your email marketing list. In MailChimp, we can use the form builder. We can click on create form. And basically what we'll be doing here is we will be customizing a specific sign up form. And in the form, we'll be collecting the email address, we'll be collecting the name and any other basic information. If you need to do further design to your form inside of the email service provider. Now, for the sake of this video, we are going to consider this form complete. And we can then take this URL and we can make it available to our customers in order for them to sign up for our email list. And when that form is available on the web, potential subscribers can sign up by using the dialog boxes here. And in order to keep the individuals notified of your future activity, you are then going to be able to send emails to them as you collect them inside of your email list. Now, this is not a full blown tutorial on how to use MailChimp. However, you will basically be signing up to create a list and then you want to make that list available through a form and then you'll want to create a campaign to send emails to the individuals. Those three steps are going to be available in just about any email service provider that you're going to use, even if the names are not going to be called campaigns or audience. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, if you are a seller of information products and services, you can use a site like Gumroad in order to create content and generate sales for that content. In Gumroad, you have what are called posts. And basically, in this area, you can create a new post and you can write your, and you can make it so that you can title it as you see fit. You can, you can paste in your post as well as to attach specific files. Once your content is in, you can use the tools to customize the post. You can make it so that the post can accept comments or you can turn the comments off. And depending on how many individuals are part of your audience within Gumroad, based on product sales and subscriptions, you can direct the post to different classifications of people in your Gumroad audience. So basically what you have is a targeted system of content that you can direct to individuals specifically according to how they make purchases from your Gumroad store. And this blog is based solely for the activity that you're generating to sell your products and services on the Gumroad platform. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.